So the diagram shows two forces of equal magnitude applied in opposite direction, separated by a perpendicular distance d. Show that the resultant moment taken about any point is equal to f times d. Okay, so if I'm going to take moments about this point here. Okay, I'm going to say the distance from the left is x. So that means the distance towards the right from that point is going to be d, the total length, minus x. Okay, so hopefully you realize that both moments are actually in this case anti-clockwise says so there's going to be it's not going to be balances it's going to be an overall moment which is what we're trying to find so a moment to let's say from this force here is just going to be force times the distance from my that point d minus x and i'm going to add on the force um of, on this force here which is just going to be force times the distance which is x i'm going to expand this bracket so f times d minus f x plus fx. Hopefully you see these two cancel out. So that just gives us a total moment of f times d. Okay, this is what we call a couple. Okay, a couple is two forces of equal magnitude acting in opposite direction separated by some perpendicular distance d. The moment of a couple is f times d. Okay, that's a total turning effect from a couple. So the girl pedaling the cycle applies 190 newton force on each pedal. The distance between the pedals is 40 centimeters. Calculate the resultant moment. Okay, so this is a couple, and we know that the resultant moment of a couple is just this force times the distance between those two forces. So in this case, the force is 190. I'm going to multiply by the distance between them, which is 0 0.4. That gives me 48 newton meters. So the diagram shows forces acting on a rod. Calculate the moment of the couple shown in the diagram. Okay, so firstly, in this case, it's a bit more complicated because you can see the force at an angle. However, we know that only the perpendicular component of this force is going to contribute towards any turning effect. Okay, and they're in opposite directions here. So we just need to figure out the size of this one. So that's the opposite side here. So that the part we're interested in is the opposite. So we just use sine. So 10 sine 60 is the force that we're interested in. And I just need to multiply by the distance here. So moments are going to be force, which is 10 sine 60 times the distance between the two forces, which is 1.2. That gives me a total turning effect of 10.4 Newton meters.